Hi, Aries. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries, let's see what's going on. Aries, Aries. What's happening for Aries? What is happening for my Aries collective? All right, things are changing. Your fortune is changing. It maybe even changing um circle of friends or people or colleagues or just um social groups here. And things are aligning for you to take some action here. Uh, the universe is bringing you luck, maybe to expand uh, a relationship. Some with maybe somebody or something, maybe with a masculine energy that is away from you. This person may want to travel towards you. They want to rebuild something, be your friend, or this could even be like an online relationship where they reached out to you via technology or something like that with the star card. This person could be married or they have a wife or you're married. I don't know if they want a love affair with you with the five of wands. Let's see what the, the cards have to tell you in terms of advice. Or let's see, let's tell you about the relationship. What's happening here? Yeah, somebody wants to meet up with you. You've got coffee cup coming out, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, friendship. You could have new friendship also. Let's see, what else? Um, coffin, okay, endings, new beginnings. Maybe this person is telling you that they're transitioning or um, not transitioning in terms of, you know, leaving the earth, but um, they could be telling you that maybe they're, they're getting out of some committed relationship. They're ending something. Maybe they want to start something new with you. Um, but I don't think they're out of it just yet. Let's see. Yeah. The grim reaper, something is over. The relationship is over. So somebody wants to tell you the relationship is over. Kisses, unconditional love, um, giving affection, falling in love. So they want you to fall in love with them. Maybe even before the ink is, you know, dried on the divorce uh, papers or, you know, before they actually tell that person that they're done. Um, so this person could be just thinking about the past cassette came out. Maybe you guys used to hang out, sneak around, whatever. They're replaying these events over in their head, but it says it's outdated thinking because maybe you've changed. Let's see what the advice is for you, Aries, and we'll get out of here. What is the advice for Aries? What is the advice? Advice for Aries. Uh, Knight of Cups. All right, let this person court you, date you, allow yourself to fall in love. Yeah, the world card. You could marry this person. They could be the one, you know. It could really work. Um, maybe there's graduation. There has been an ending, which will cause for a beginning, a new beginning. But it's delays because something, like I said, something that they're in is not over. They're still in something here. Okay. And you may get some challenging news about how they're still involved in some relationship. And maybe they want something secret behind the veil with you. And you have to determine if you're up for that. Um The Queen of Pentacles coming out again. They see you as the perfect person for them. But they're they're still in this relationship that they're unhappy in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a married man with the emperor. And this also could be you too. Stand your ground. Demand more. Know your worth. All right. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.